there are hundreds of people with relatives in these cemeteries who are furious, who have not been consulted, and there is no way that they are going to just give up the graves of their ancestors and their relatives uh, for Southwark Council to dig them up or man them over to make profit. They're turning what has been a resurgent forest into a super cemetery. We're saying that we need respect for the dead, but we need the trees for the living. Everybody's watching this. This is a test case. In fact, it's a test case for the whole of the country. This isn't just about Southwark and two small cemeteries in Southwark. It's about the whole country. At the moment, we're here in Campbell Old Cemetery. Uh, which opened in 1856, to pretty much it's full, closed around the eight, 1980s. And Southwark wants to dig up all the old graves over 75 years old, mound over all the common graves, which they don't have to notify relatives about. Underneath us, there are hundreds of thousands of people buried. So across this cemetery alone, there's more than 300,000 people. And then in the new cemetery, there's more, another 200,000. And I have very happy memories of being with my grandmother all those years ago and she knew me as a lad. So I don't want the coffins taken out. I mean, what's going to happen to the coffins if they are removed? That is really worrying. There is a cemetery six or seven miles away from here which has 40 acres of space ready to go. There's no problem with providing burial. The problem is digging up graves, mounding over graves and destroying woodland in the centre of London, in an inner London borough in 2016. What we are looking at here behind me is part of what was 12 acres of urban forest. And what they're doing now in this area is they're looking for a new plan for cemeteries. And that plan does not include trees. We have 10 acres that are still forests and two acres that have already been leveled. I mean, the value of a green cemetery first is economically at 6.1 billion over the entirety of London. There's an a well-being factor to people being in green spaces, for children growing up with green spaces at their doorstep where they can walk and feel lost for a moment in time, for a child to feel a wilderness. Well, we're spreading the word uh, because it seems this isn't going to be the only one. Because if Southwark can bulldoze over a petition with 11,000 names on it, over 4,000 Southwark residents against it, and bulldoze it through and dig it all up and cut down the woods, other cemeteries across the country are watching that situation and they may be able to do it as well. This is essential for London in the 21st century. Really valuable space turn it into a car park, you lose the history, you lose the nature.